The family of a Sydney sheikh killed in Syria say they have no regrets over his death. Mustafa al Majoub was killed by rocket fire as he was helping people injured in a government attack. The father of three had been there since April, supporting the effort to oust the Syrian regime. His father says he was doing his duty when he died. Ben Worsley reports. Hassan al Majoub sits in his backyard, surrounded by family and friends. The death of his son in Syria has struck a nerve in this part of Sydney. Not only the family, but the whole community is in mourning, and uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very sad event. Mustafa al Majoub was 30, a high school teacher, cleric, and a youth worker. He watched events unfold in his homeland with horror. To see what's happening in Syria today, for 10 minutes, I can't sit down without tears coming from my eyes. In April, he decided to leave his wife and three children to help. Online, he posted, I have decided to move as close as I can be to the front lines to serve my brothers and sisters inside and outside Syria. He was giving humanitarian support to those opposing the al-Assad regime. On Monday, he was killed by rocket fire. Mustafa has been, has been killed while trying to assist injured people after a bombing. He went to assist the injured people and then another set of bombs came to the same spot and killed, killed Mustafa. In Sydney, the reaction's been overwhelming. Hundreds have joined the morning. A complete stranger handed Mustafa al Majoub's widow the keys to a brand new car. I'm proud of what my son did and I'm proud of all the Syrian people who are against the regime and asking for their freedom. I consider it as being a duty. The thing that terrifies me is that I suspect when the fighting is over, when the government's in some sort of transition, we'll begin to have reports that confirm mass crimes and other atrocities. This is not a place where Australians should be. 160 Australians are believed to be in Syria. Ben Worsley, ABC News, Sydney.